Hello, Internet friends. My name is Rich. Thanks so much for joining me today on the Toy Isle Alliance YouTube channel. Just want to do another quick uh, toy collection video, this time on my NECA Ultimate Horror figures. Um, really like these figures. Um, the way I display them is, obviously, as you can tell, I have the figure in front of their box. I'm usually not someone that keeps the packaging. I open all my figures and then throw away the uh, the box. However, I love the fact that the Ultimate figures usually have some sort of form of the original poster art. Um, and it also reminds me kind of of a uh, old school big box uh, VHS case. Uh, and on VHS is how I saw most of these uh, movies originally. Uh, so first off we have from a uh, character from what I consider to be uh, one of the greatest quintessential American films ever made. And that is Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really nice figure. This is clearly uh, Leatherface's most iconic look. Um, Great figure. I love the blood splatter on his uh, on his apron. Good articulation. Uh, came with a lot of accessories, and I've always loved that Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster. Uh, next to him is my favorite slasher, and that is Jason Voorhees. I consider this kind of the classic Jason, because this is from Part 3 or Part 3D, uh, which is when he first got the hockey mask. And the, uh, the box for this figure, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it's kind of a, a lenticular cover so you kind of get like a 3D effect. So that's very cool. Um, of course we have Freddy Krueger. This is from uh, the original A Nightmare on Elm Street. There's also a Freddy based on uh, Part 3 Dream Warriors and a Freddy that is coming based on uh, Part 2 Freddy's Revenge. So I might pick those up as well. Uh, mainly because Part 3 is my favorite A Nightmare on Elm Street uh, Freddy. And the part two Freddy comes with a couple of like hellhounds and some flame effects. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, over here we have my Evil Dead 2 Ash. Um, he comes with a regular Ash head. Sorry about the light. This is the uh, the Deadite Ash head. Uh, really good sculpt. Not sure if it's showing up all that well on my camera, but take my word for it. It's really good. There is a more classic Chainsaw Ash coming, and I'm, I, of course I'm going to pick that up. Uh, here we have the uh, Jason Lives Jason. Uh, very cool. This was one of the first uh, Ultimate Jason figures they made. Then next to him is an original, uh, or, or from the original Terminator movie, Terminator. This is my favorite, uh, his favorite look for the Terminator from that movie. And then, oh look, another Jason. This is uh, the final chapter, part four, Jason, which I just did a video on this not that long ago. Uh, sorry for the glare. That's actually one of my favorite uh, Friday the 13th poster is for the final chapter. Um, it's funny, I just watched parts uh, four, actually, yeah, four, five, and six. I didn't watch part three over this uh, this last this past weekend. He comes with a couple alternate heads. Uh, the Pamela Voorhees, uh, Tombstone, two goalie masks. Very cool. I have them in the... Uh, Literally the final chapter look. And lastly but not leastly, the most cutest uh, ultimate figure I have, and uh, that is Gizmo from Gremlins, which I do consider a horror movie, or at the very least a, a monster movie. So there you go. I have a lot more figures, uh, ultimate figures coming. Um, I have uh, the Jungle Hunter Predator. I have the Aliens Warrior from Aliens. Uh, Chucky I will be uh, getting very soon. Like I said, I have another Ash coming. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have to try to figure out how I'm going to fit the boxes on uh, on this shelf. So I'm definitely going to need some more shelves. So there you go. Just a very quick look at my uh, NECA Ultimate Horror and Monster figures. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe? And until next time, I hope I will see ya.